Hello everyone and welcome back to the Stone House. This is going to be kind of an extra video, I guess, this week. Because though I did work a little bit on this porch roof, what we decided to do this weekend was go camping. We had a company called Max Oak send us this device and what it is is like a power bank, like a battery power bank. I thought that was pretty cool and it was really nice of them to send it to me. So me, Lily, and Jace all went to the woods and we camped out for uh, for a full day using it. I hope you I hope you like the video. I didn't show a lot of the work. It's just too hot and I was getting chased by bees over in this corner. I don't like doing things as a temporary fix, but I just can't justify spending a whole bunch of money on this front porch when I know I'm going to replace it all in the spring, which will probably be a pretty expensive endeavor. For now, this will hold water and snow. It won't leak anymore. It's certainly a lot stronger than it was, so I got to be pretty happy with it. Still a temporary fix though. All right guys, so what are we doing? Going camping. Going camping. Yeah. yeah. Find an owl yeah we can look for owl, owl pellets. Yeah, we're gonna look in the woods. The most of place that would have owl pellets would be is in the woods because owls usually are in the woods. Okay, there's yeah. the cabin up there. Let's go. I've already gotten bit up by about a thousand black flies, so this is really starting great. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? Getting away and going camping for a day was really nice, and if you can't tell, the kids were super excited. So this is our little cabin. These are some deer that we've taken on the land. Just a couple, probably the biggest ones. It's another one. So sleeping quarters. There is a bathroom, so we're not roughing it too much. Hey, look, a coffee maker. I'll be able to use that with my Blue Yeti, I bet. A pan. Yeah, a pan. And I can use that with the Blue Yeti also. It can charge little things. Like a phone. Like a phone with these USBs and also has a micro C. That micro C charges at 45 watts, which is really fast. It charged my iPhone in probably 30 minutes, maybe less. It was pretty impressive. Most power bricks for cell phones only charge at 30 watts or even less. So having that 45 watts, I actually noticed a big difference. This side uses all DC stuff, so we're going to turn DC on. See? Now it's... Charging my phone, and then this is how you turn the AC stuff on. The AC turns on your two plugs in the back. Cool. It's also important to point out that the back AC outlets are pure sine wave, which means it's safe for sensitive electronic devices. The specs on the EB150 are pretty impressive. It holds 1500 watt hours of power in the LG batteries, and it can put out a thousand continuous watts. So for example, you could run a small TV for about 15 hours on this device. I'm gonna use this thing. I'm gonna show you how you can bring this camping and power anything you'd wanna power and have fun with your kids. All right? Yeah. Okay. We're having fun right now. Yeah, we are. All right, so what do you guys wanna do first? I'll make a fire. Good, good idea. Yeah, and we can eat well. Jace always wants to eat. One really impressive thing with this is it has an MPPT controller in it, which means you can hook this up to solar panels and charge it at 500 watts an hour, which means you could charge this device in three hours with solar when it would take you 10 hours just plugging it into a wall outlet. So the way this percolator works is the water boils inside of it and it goes up the middle chute like a little hose but it's steel and then it, you'll see it bubbling right here and then it bubbles over and hits my coffee and then the water will go through the coffee and makes co makes coffee mm. it's pretty cool this one looks like sort of well, like a dinosaur we take out 
a piece and we have to say what it looks like. This one kind of looks like a squirrel. This one sort of looks like, I don't know. So ghost. my grandpa, you don't know him because he passed away before you were born. Mm -hmm. He used to look at every single piece of popcorn before I he know. ate it. He, lo he looked and found an astronaut one. One of the pieces, exactly yep, like yep. Astronaut. One of the pieces was exactly like an I think astronaut. I made it to do that. Now the bird's saying hello to us. Hello. <laughs> My tire on my truck is a little soft. Okay. Do you want to try to use the Blue Eddy to blow it up? Yes. Good idea. One problem with it is it's very heavy. I think it weighs 35 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So this is your everyday basic um, little tiny tire compressor. I know it as a cigarette lighter plug-in. So you can plug it right in. Eek. Uh, and it should blow up the car tire. Okay, so that worked good. Got the car tire blown up better. And now we can continue on with our camping trip. No hint of coyote. Watch. Come on, Dad. <laughs> we're going to start getting kind of ready for bedtime. And we're going to watch a quick show. And I think we normally wouldn't watch TV when we're camping. Obviously, it's not very camping-like. Truth be told, my kids never watch TV. If they do, it's a serious treat. The TV is only drawing 94 watts. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, whoa. Oh, like, wow, it's so pretty. It's like green and blue and red. Chicken. Ch you got chicken from that? I know that's a chicken. <laughs> yup. <laughs> okay. Watch one. I can see I'm gonna lose at this game. Baby. Feeding a baby. Bottle. Bottle. It's two hours past your bedtime. Just so you know. One hour. Yeah, that works good. Gabe died, so it has a die. Let's see, it's right here. We're about to go to sleep. We're going to be leaving the fan and the light on because the kids, you know, have never slept out of their own beds really before. According to my records, at this is only drawing 67 watts. It's full power, so we can run this for about 10 years. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to mention is just how quiet this thing is. If you can imagine something that makes zero noise, that's what this sounds like. It literally makes zero noise. You want to say goodnight? Goodnight. Hope you, uh, you love this adventure. <laughs> I was out there alone Moving from station to station I've been searching for the right one But I was ready for something more My perfect love This is considerably easier than camp coffee though. All right, so after camping, you usually don't get to do this, but we are gonna be able to vacuum using the Blue Eddy. Sissy, would you like to demonstrate? Plugs in just like a normal plug. And then you gotta make sure that it says um, the AC button, you hold that down. Yep, and now you're good to go. We put the question out on Instagram what people would use this for and we got some really good responses and a lot of them were for medical devices where you can't go camping because you have to have power and just that's a really good point that I wouldn't have thought of 
but that's a great idea. Um, you can definitely use this for things like sleeping devices and different things like that. When just losing power in general, it's great to have a battery backup. So thank you to everybody that answered that poll. I cleaned this before we started, or at least emptied it. I vacuumed for about, I vacuumed for about 15 minutes. So I can say that it clearly works and has just as much power as normal. Ugh. I think I might have got one or two squirrels. They're okay. No squirrels were harmed in the making of this video. I'd like to thank Max Oak for sending us the Blue Eddy to try out, and we look forward to using it in the future.